All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. We are back in the Season 2 of Fallout 1, and we have just discovered that Necropolis has completely been eradicated by super mutants. Things have escalated quickly. Uh, before I get any further, I wanted to make a shout out to my first ever subscriber, Red Moon Blood Moon. Thank you so much for all the helpful tips you left on the first video and for subscribing. I honestly wasn't sure if and when I would get a first subscriber, and so I just wanted to make an absolute shout out to Red Moon Blood Moon. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Or thank you, girl. Really appreciate it. Whichever. So Red Moon Blood Moon also happened to give me a lot of advice on a comment. It was honestly almost too much, but a lot of I learned a lot of good things from that. And uh, one of the things that I saw that I wanted to do is that dog meat is the dog in junk town and you need to give him iguana on a stick or leather armor or something along those lines so I want to try going to junk town after we clear this out see if we can get dog meat or if he's not gonna like me just because of you know the way things played out um, I don't have a leather jacket or an iguana on a stick right now anyway so that's fine whatever and and he gave me a lot of other helpful tips and stuff like that really appreciate it uh, all right, let's. I can't wait to get into this. Looks like these super mutants are unarmed, so even though they all have 100 HP, compared to what I now bring to the table, that's not too much. And I now have the alien blaster from last time, which has very short range, but hits even harder than the late than the plasma rifle for only three AP. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a shot. Here we go. Super mutants, game on. Thirty-six, thirty-eight. All right, there goes one. Invasion mutant. Uh, looks like they're not dropping anything. Otherwise, I hope they're not because he didn't because I evaporated him. Nobody challenges us and lives. Okay. Alien blaster again, which uses cheaper ammo than the plasma rifle. Nice. <clears throat> Another dead one. Here comes this guy now. Ow! Ian hit me for 15. That's a huge chunk of my health. Not cool at all. I'm actually going to move aside just in case I hit Katya. Because I don't want to hit Katya. Super Mutant down. This is how strong we are now. This is how strong we are now. We can just walk over this kind of opposition. That is insane to me how strong we've become so quickly. These weapons that I'm using right now are so unbelievably powerful. It's something else. A lighter. I don't know what a lighter does, but I'll take it. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go back to the other place and fight the super mutants there. I don't like that Ian hit me for literally 15 damage. That's a huge chunk of my health. Um, but doesn't seem to be any reason not to wait, so I might just rest once we get to the second map here where the uh, necrop where the necropolis proper used to be. Poor guys all wiped out. Oh, first aid kit. Huh, I never saw that. I just, I saw it over there just now and was like, wait a second. Okay. <clears throat> so just one more time, thank you so much, uh, Red Moon, Blood Moon. It means a lot to me that someone would subscribe to my content, even if they don't watch all of it. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, see what I have to offer to this uh, YouTube community. Alright. <clears throat> that law with the Terran, that blaster looks like it can move. This? Ooh. <clears throat> I did not notice this one. If this was here last time, you set up the trap in the door, you're hit for 11, Ian was hit for 8. Ow. You know what? I'm just going to use a step back. Now that I've taken that much feeding. 17, sure. Okay. Let's put the alien blaster back on there. The plasma caster is going to be. Plasma. Yeah. Plasma rifle. Sorry is going to be what I use for long range 
altercations, and then I'll use the alien blaster when things get remotely close. <clears throat> Alright, I've never been in this building before, proper, because the ghouls in there were not so friendly. So, I'm looking forward to see what kind of loot we can find in here while we're wiping out the super mutants. And I can't believe we're at the point where we can take out super mutants. I know I'm still, I'd still be deathly afraid of any super mutant with a minigun, because that guy crit me for 80 last time, but... Alright, perfect shot. Lined it up. 36. A 95 miss. Hate to see that. 28. Not great, honestly. Uh, can the alien blaster hit from that distance? It can. There goes that guy. How about this distance? No, that's too far for it. Alright, so we switch back. Uh, reload. Our first reload with the plasma rifle there. Oh, it might not have been a distance thing. Whoops. Guess we're about to find out. And another 95 miss. That's two 95 misses in the same combat. Hate to see that. You really do. Alright, alien blaster. Nice. And... Boom, baby. That's the combat. For 69, a... 700 for those two super mutants. Really? That's a lot for two super mutants. Uh, and they don't seem to drop anything, really. Uh, oh, this one seems like he might have, if Ian can get out of the way. No, okay. Okay, I don't know how to open these gates. <clears throat> okay, set. Had ammo on him, stim pack, lighter. Hunting rifle, okay. So, yeah, I can see these guys were pretty undermanned for getting assaulted by super mutants, at least. Two more stim packs, more shotgun shells. Flamethrower fuel, really? Gotcha! I need you to carry stuff that you might use, maybe. I'd hope, since you've been pretty useless so far. Here's a Desert Eagle. Wrong ammo. Here's some hunting rifles. 223 ammo. Some machetes. 14 millimeter ammo. Can't really use that, can you? Spear. Shotgun. Some shotgun shells. Do something with some of that. Gotcha. Other than punching things, please. <clears throat> Spear, and then we can loot Garrett for the five fuel and the shotgun. No. Just want to make sure I got everything off my man here. Yeah. Okay. Remains of a ghoul. Nothing. Bookcase. Nothing. Wardrobe. <clears throat> hey, hey, drugs! What are that? A psycho buff out? I do love psycho in Fallout 4. Psycho buff, that's my stuff. And that unintentionally rhymed, but I'm gonna start saying that more often. <laughs> psycho buff, that's my stuff. I mean, that's totally what I meant to say. Absolutely intended. A lot of melee weapons on these dead ghouls. Which, again, would not have done them much against super mutants. Katja and Ian really like getting in the way of me looting things, however. A 
lot of spears, a lot of knives. That I've been calling machetes all game. I'm not sure why I've been calling them machetes all game, but... I'm sure somewhere in my subconscious there's a good reason for it. Any Radex guys? Two stim pack. Oh, also, uh, while I was uploading stuff, tool really, while I was uploading things to YouTube, I recognize, I remembered a character named Vance, and Vance actually gives me access to Radex by allowing me to buy it from him. So worst case scenario, we do have a way to get the Radex if we are willing to spend some cash on it. Alright. So, that's it. This place is... Oh, no. There's one more room over here. Before we kill that super mutant over there. Nothing on that guy. Ugh. Ian. 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 You guys are always in the way, you two. Gotcha. Barter. She does have a knife out, it looks like. That's good. Improvement. Here's eight spears, gotcha. And three knives. Enjoy those. <clears throat> Alright. So maybe she'll finally have a weapon now. Hey! This guy actually had some good stuff. Hunting rifle and some ammo for it. Okay. Most of these guys are just machetes and spears, but that was actually pretty good. Alright, let's see what's in the fridge. Rat X me. Oh, it's locked. Really? Let's lockpick it then. Unlock the fridge. 25 experience. Shotguns. Nuka Colas. Flares. Shotgun. Alright. Alright, let's go kill this last super mutant now. Show them how we do things. And then we can move over to the watershed, see if anything changed over there after I killed most of the people over there. Hit for 82. Yeah, this guy was doomed. 82 and 81? Whoo! Whoo! That's even more than we usually do. Oh, that's rough for him. 350 for one super mutant is so much experience. That we are only 110 away from level 9, actually. And then we get a new perk. And perks are usually when you get those really big uh, power spikes. But it will never match the power spike we have right now. Where we get <laughs> Alien Blaster and this Turbo Plasma Rifle. Just doing absolute work to any opponent that dares get in our way. The amount of damage we do is so crazy. <clears throat> Let's get the Turbo Plasma Rifle out in case we have some long range enemies down the line here. Because I don't know what's going to be at this watershed or if it's still cleared out from when we cleared it out before. Hard to say, honestly. Looks like the ghouls are still alive, but there's more mutants. So more 100 HP weaponless super mutants. Oh, this ghoul's alive. Oh no, that's a dead ghoul. Never mind. Just kidding, they're definitely dead. Yeah, they definitely just laid this whole place out. That's wild. So it wasn't even me that cleared out this place this time, it was the game itself when the super mutants came. And after I kill those super mutants, I'll be level 9. And I have no doubts in my mind that I'm capable of doing that. Because my weapons are far too good to lose to anything that doesn't have a gun also. Except for maybe a Deathclaw. I, I give Deathclaws a pass. Can I hit them from here? Oh my goodness. Yep. 
this range is so absurd. Look at that accuracy from here. That's crazy. And they could say they'll kill me, but let's be honest, at this range, having 95 accuracy, there's no way they stop me. 37 miss. 32. So 31 more would do it. Which means I should just use a plasma rifle shot to end this. Or an alien blaster shot. Either one. Can the alien blaster reach from here? Yep. See ya. Alright, plasma rifle. 32. 51. And crispy. 1050? <clears throat> That's a level up. Woo! Okay. You can take bonus move again? Oh my god, that's so much. Better criticals. You gain a 20% bonus on the critical hit table, almost ensuring that more damage will be done. This does not affect the chance to cause critical hit. Okay. Criticals already do a lot. Had it been more crit chance, then may maybe. Damage. Bonus rate of fire. This perk allows you to pull the trigger a little more faster and still remain as accurate as before. Each ranged weapon attack costs one AP less to perform. No way. Two AP bullets? Like, I can shoot for two AP with that. I'm 99% sure that's what we take, but let me read everything. Dodger. Uh, every level will add 5% to your armor class in addition to the AC bonus from any worn armor. Uh, okay, educated empathy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More criticals. That, that could be something. Healer. Each level will add 2 to 5 more hit points healed when using the first aid or doctor skills. Fortune Finder. You will find additional money in random encounters in the desert. Friendly foe. Yeah, that's right. I remember that one. Heave ho. Additional two strength for purposes of determining range only for thrown weapons. Okay. More criticals. You're more likely to cause critical hits in combat. Each level of more criticals will get you a 5% chance to cause a critical hit. This is a good thing. So from 9% to 14% is nice, but it's... So th I might take this down the line. I might take this at level 12, maybe. But two AP shots... One of your traits is mutated into something else. Okay, that's never what anyone's going to want to do. Mysterious Stranger. Appear from time to time. Your ally is lost, in com is lost in combat. Do not expect him or her to be replaced. That's hilarious. I love that guy. Night Vision. Quick Pockets. There's so many things now. Sharpshooter. Hitting things at distances. Plus two bonus. Perception determining range modifiers. Oh, that's right. My perception is nine. That's probably helping with my range quite a bit. Yeah, okay, so there are a couple good things, especially more criticals, but bonus rate of fire is so good, there's no way I'm not taking it. This still says three. I'm hoping that it does stack and that I didn't just take that for no reason. Come on. Good, two. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, hold up. <coughs> Sorry about that. My chest has got something going on, but oh my god. God, that is so awesome. I can't believe it. That is so good. So now my alien blaster and turbo plasma rifle only take two AP to shoot. Can't help but notice, but the children of Cathedral are not here dead. Like everyone else. <clears throat> And the cathedral seems like endgame based on what I've heard from different characters here and there. So, yeah, maybe I don't mess with that for the moment. Okay, so, yeah, that's Necropolis. This, this was everything. Let's leave. Alright. Pretty wild, if I do say so myself. Pretty wild. Is there something I missed down here? No? Yes? No, correct? Correct. The answer is no. Alright. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Never mind, Ian. Stop getting in the way, Ian. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go to Vance at the hub and get some Radex.
so that we can go do the glow. Go join the Brotherhood, possibly. We're coming for you, Vance. Alright, hub. Uh, Old Town. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I, I wanted to take one of these off so that I could be unarmed. Okay. 51 HP now. Still not a lot of HP, to be honest. At level 9, we're at 51. That is a yikes. That is a yikes. Vance. Uh. Let's talk. Let's barter. He's got so much stuff here. Pretty wild. Can I take these guys? How much is a rat X for him? It's actually not bad. I could take... Because I know two makes you completely rad resistant. So that would make me completely rad resistant twice. Oh, the Elvis painting's only worth 300. That's a shame. Uh, lighter? How much are lighters worth? 100, sure. Flamer fuel? 646. Shotguns? 2290. Oh, and we also need a leather jacket. Uh, so that we can possibly recruit dog meat. I don't know if it'll work anymore, but I kind of want to try. Yeah, let's try that. Lighter, fluid, shotguns, the Elvis painting, Mentats for four Rad X and a leather jack. <clears throat> okay. I don't need that rat away. Oh, his is so much cheaper than the general store, guys. Why did I buy the one from the general store? I'll buy one rat away. Hold up. Okay. Bit a bit much apparently. Eight forty seven. That's an awkward amount for me. How much is this worth? Three sixty? Spear? Machetes? Flares? Yeah, such an awkward amount. There's no easy way for me to pay him that much. Shotgun shells? Oh, wait a second. We're on to something. Take one of those back. Boom! Alright. So, four rat X and a rat away. Never mind, bye. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, okay. How tough are these guys? I'm not so certain how much Typo would let people talk to him like that. 26, 25, 25? That sounds like something I would wipe out. Hup, 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 hup. What are the chances the whole hub fights me if they attack me first? Let's talk. What do you have to sell? You're okay, here's what I've got. Okay, so he's actually talking to me now. Don't use it all in one place, thanks. What is all this? A junkie in a bed, okay. Multiple junkies, okay. Alright, alright. The question is, do I get all his stuff if I kill him? That's generally how this has gone, but I don't I just don't know this time. And I don't know how much damage sledgehammers do, I'm gonna be completely honest.
Man, oh man. I just don't want to make an enemy of the hub. Calm down. Misunderstand. I should know if you don't tell me what you're selling. If you don't already know, you shouldn't be here. Now leave. Okay, I'll leave. Okay, I don't want to be the one who starts the fight and get in trouble with the law. Not in the hub. Almost anywhere else I'd be okay with it, but not in the hub. Did I go in that building right there? Have I checked this building out? Yeah, I had to. Okay. All right. We've got our Radex. We can go to the Glow now. Feeling better about this. Okay. One day when I'm feeling super strong, I'll risk doing the quests in the hub that can endanger my life. I don't want to make the whole hub against me. That's one of my main problems here. Okay. To the glow. All the way down there, huh? Man, it is so far south. At least that's like, that's like as south as the game gets. I've actually done a lot of this map. More than I thought. Oh! Raiders! Really? Oh, I was not expecting raiders. Reload. It's our second reload with this weapon. What are we up against? 26. 26. 30. 26. And 26 with a 10mm pistol. Well then. I think I know what needs to be done. We need to kill the guy with the gun first. Idiot. Alright, and then we go to the inventory, put the blaster in one of our slots, and then that'll be our turn. So that next turn we can blaster him up. Wait a second! You just draw drawing a weapon out of nowhere? And here I here I thought they didn't have weapons. Oh wow. Okay, well that changes the game. It just means they didn't have it out. They could be hiding it on their person. Okay. There goes that guy. This guy. I love the sound effect of the gun. <laughs> nice. No! Oh my god. Katja has 1 HP now. Run, Katja! Holy shit. Nice crit for 58. What the heck, Ian? Yo, catch up. 1 HP. Okay. I thought it was like if I missed the 5%, but I guess it's just there's a chance no matter what if they're in the way. So I will not be doing that again. I can't believe she didn't die. The absolute luck we had to have that I had to have. To not get punished with a catch of death right there is pretty insane. What a terrible raiding group, though. They stood no chance. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Wow. Sorry about that, Katja. That's, that's, that's rough. That is so rough. Alright, let's go to the glow again. A lot of random encounters in this little mountainy area here. Nothing we can't handle, but still. I think we're right about the point now where the water chip would have been due. Right around here. Another encounter. Oh, rats. No, we're not using ammo on rats. Stop. What a waste. Hit for 23. What, what weapon is he using that's doing all that? That's a crazy amount of damage that Ian's pumping out with a pistol. That's so much damage he's doing. Oh, okay, he's using the 223. Okay. 
That makes more sense. No wonder it was doing so much. Okay. Back to the glow. We actually have every... Okay, so the glow... Okay. I'm going to have more time when I actually use some Radex here. I should have had this ready. Should have had this ready. Radex. Okay. Radex. 40, okay. 100% radiation resistance. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now we have time to figure this out. Okay. My inventory. Do I have any rope? No. Then I guess Ian has the rope. Yes, he does. So this is a big hole. I don't know how I'm going to use this, but I'm almost... I'm like so close to 100% positive that I need to use a rope to get into this thing. Unless that rope is right there? No. Oh, oh. Beam? Using the metal beam. Oh, okay, this is just like the elevator shaft. Oh, I... This wasn't that hard to figure out. It's just last time I was kept taking radiation, so I was stressing out. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, alright. Let's go on down. What are we working with? There's a power armor right there. Alright, I don't know how long our radiation resistance is going to last, so let's make tracks. Nope, nothing. Okay. Okay. No, nothing. Okay. Another giant hole? Am I going to need another rope? I don't have two ropes. Ooh, a rat away. Big. Two, two lockers? Maybe there's a rope in here. Or this elevator works. Nothing in that locker. Just intact, okay. Not the greatest thing I've ever found, but serviceable, I suppose. Oh, shoot, I thought that was... Okay. Alright, can we walk over this hill? Maybe? No? Oh, there's a door here. Might have to use this elevator to get further down. Ooh, lots of ammo. Nice. Radax and Rataway! Hey! Okay, okay. Radiation resistance still 100? Good. I don't know how long it's going to last. If it's anything like the other Fallout games, I know it'll be like five minutes and then it's gone. It just wears off all at once. But I don't know how Fallout 1's gonna do it. I can't believe Katja survived my alien blaster shot. Bravo, Katja. I'm so sorry that I got that close to killing her. Nothing unusual about- oh, that's a chair. It looks unusual for a chair to me, but fair enough. Alright, another locker over here. I'm keeping my eye on this box down here for it to say Radex expired or whatever. Uh, motion sensor, interesting. Tool again, okay. Big book of science, yeah! And brass knuckles, okay. Okay. Since there's a trap in here. Yeah, I get that. Ian was hit for 15, Katja for 3, me for 0. I don't have a good enough trap skill to stop the trap from hitting me, so... At least I don't think so. Yellow pass key. Interesting. Seems strange. You think it may be what the Brotherhood sent you to retrieve. Okay. Hey, if this is as far as I had to go, I'm okay with that. Now I can just explore to my heart's content as far as I can reasonably get... What is this? Primary power offline, secondary power online, power management, power systems management, primary power, primary power management, initialize power, primary power, initialization failed, diagnose, zero feed return, inoperable, generator level six, level six, 
Are there going to literally be level 6 levels to this? Highly doubt that. Most I've seen in any place is 3 so far. Whoa! Another trap. Mild shock when you let you feel in the door and take a point of damage. Alright, strong shock. Okay, so that's just going to keep happening then. Um, is there no way further down here? How's my radiation resistance? Good. Zero. A hundred, I mean. Good. There's an electric field on the door. Really? I guess I'm stuck. I guess. Let me just see. I still have more radiation resistance, so I have more time to try to figure out if there's anything I can do here. No, not really. Is this really just going to keep shocking me harder? Strong shock. Three points of damage. <laughs> I just keep touching it. Four shot. A four. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely teaching me there's no way through that. Okay. Uh. Alright. If that's as far as we go, I mean, I got what the Brotherhood sent me for, I guess. What happened here? I wish I had a hot dog and a really long stick. Alright, so the Radex lasted plenty long. And now I have a couple more down the road. Alright, let's go close out this part of the map because we've almost explored the entire southern the entire eastern part of the map uh, again I'm not gonna touch okay don't be super mutants with the minigun what is this what in God's name did I just find a lesser centaur nothing out of the ordinary 94 HP what am I looking at a floater with 50 44 Okay. And then the floater. For 17. Okay, so it resists these shots or something. Catch it going in. Risky, but I like it. Floater dropped to the ground. Killed! Well done, boys! And boy and girl. Let's go! Alright. We got 625 for those two for those two enemies. Whew. A lot easier than a super mutant, though, I tell you that. Wow, wow, wow. Well, a super mutant with a minigun, at least. Man. That was crazy. Okay, so we've explored this southern area of the map. Another random encounter. What do we got? What is this? Male guard. Oh, I think we've seen this encounter before. It's just a bunch of dead people, and one of them had 24 10 millimeter on them. Yeah, we've seen this encounter before. This isn't new. Interesting. Okay. Guess we keep going. Another one. A lot of random encounters going on. Okay, another floater. And another centaur. 18 on the floater. They have 50 health, so there we go. Nice. And two shots on this guy. I really don't want to give him a chance to show me how much damage he can do. Nice shooting. Okay, he's running for it. Good. That's where we want him. Running away from us. Alright, more good experience right here. Yeah, this is, this is so much better than when we had to fight Super Mutants. So much better. It's not even comparable. And these guys still don't drop anything. Alright. Another 625 experience? Sure. Why not? Okay. But it's going to take a lot of experience before we get to level 10, let alone 12 for the next perk, so... Oh, we have skill points I never even spent! Duh! Okay, so let's get our science and our repair decent here. 
since our other skills are pretty respectable. Uh, 61 and 62. How about that? Alright. Our movement's definitely sped up here. Oh! Is this the ocean? It's not going to let me go any further that way, because that's, that's the ocean, I believe. The coast, yeah. What does water look like in this game? Ooh. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, so the map's not as huge as I thought because of the way the coast is going to cut this off. It's not a perfect square, so to speak. Okay, random encounter. Uh, you see a man in settled armor with an old assortment of knickknacks. Shadow, what brings you out this far? Just wandering. Uh, prepare to die. <laughs> Just wandering. See, much more like myself then. Oh, you're not one of the communities out here? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. What kind of work do you do? Mostly a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I helped junk town with their lights and showed the people in Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. Ooh, about that. Uh, what kind of music do you sing? Mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. Would you happen to know No Gala Imbid? As I think it's called? Why, well, certainly. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Sing songs and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel reinvigorated. Uh, okay. I don't know what that actually did for me, but okay. That reminded me of the, uh, the name of that reminded me of the theme song of, uh, <laughs> Civilization IV. Alright. So this is pretty cool. We've cleared out so much of this map. And now, if this coast keeps going up in this way, that means that where I died last time is one of the very few pieces of land I've yet to see in this game. Counter. Okay. What do we got? Raiders again. Okay. They're going to regret that decision. See ya. Goodbye. Can the alien blaster reach that? It can. Oh, that's plenty of range. Ten range is a lot of range. I thought ten range would be a lot less. If I'm being honest. Last shot with the blaster before a reload. Alright. Just like that, we killed everyone except for one of the raiders. Oh, nicely done, Katja. Oh, she's got that. Twelve caps, okay. Hunting rifle, really? I can't even pick it up. That's a shame. Good stuff, Katja. Alright. Katja, yep, yeah, barter. It's so crazy having two companions like this. Alright, our ammo is still doing fairly well. Uh, wow, there's so much on my inventory that I actually just want to keep there. Oh my god, I should get all, give all that to Ian. Ian will love that. I don't know what this motion sensor is for, but I will read the big book of science. When I can. I obviously cannot hear. So I will not hear. Empty motor pistol, assault rifle. All right, there you go. Have all that, Katja. Very good, very good. Nothing yet. Stay tuned. Six bottle caps, pistol. I hope when I get into the Brotherhood, there's a lot of places to trade in there and stuff. All right, barter. I would like to give you 150 ammo that you will absolutely love to have for your super powerful pistol. Thank you. 
All right, my companions are looking pretty beefy at this point. Looking really nice. 25 bottle caps. Hunting rifle, nice. Leather armor, okay. Nothing, okay. Alright. And I don't think this map has anything else for us. No? Yes? No? Maybe? Looks like that's it. Time to go. Man, this has been so fun. Alien Blaster and hand and the laser rifle and figuring out how Radix works. It's really a great game, especially for how old it is. Especially for how old it is. I don't want to go to the cathedral yet. I really, really don't. Could I take on the Death Claws in the Boneyard with our current equipment? Let's go to the Brotherhood first. I'm really tempted, but let's go to the Brotherhood first. And the Brotherhood is right there. Getting this far west really scares me that I'm going to run into super mutants or something that'll kill me. Random encounter. Okay, rad scorpions. Oh, I'm all stressed out about running into crazy strong super mutants, but I can handle rad scorpions. Alright, make sure I don't hit Katja here. And why not? Let's reload. Oh, I just realized that didn't die right away. It's kind of wild. And boom. Very good. So I know they drop a rad scorpion tail, and that guy didn't drop one because he disintegrated. Which tells me that these can actually take loot away from me, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm still going to keep using them, because damn, they're good and fun to use, but that's kind of stressful. There we go, Brotherhood. Level 1, Entrance, Level 1, 2, 3, looks like there's 4 levels in here, damn. Alright, let's put the Alien Blaster away for now, let's then pack out. Let's join the Brotherhood of Steel! Hey, you're back! Did you get something? Yep, sure did. Wait! But, um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Okay. This is great! Hang on while I open the door. Okay. 2,000 points for becoming an initiate. Yeah! Let's go. Let's get in the elevator. First floor. Wow. Look at all this high-tech stuff going on in here. This is going to take forever to go through. This is going to have to be a whole episode of its own. I know I haven't been recording that long, but... Yeah, I just feel like this has to be its own episode. Uh, because everything in the Brotherhood here is, is going to be quite a bit, I can already tell, especially if they let me go all four floors. Yeah. So I'm going to call it here. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with this if you're still here. And we are going to fully explore the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker next time. Looking forward to it. This has been One Game, One Life. I'm Typo, and thank you for watching.